humble as we know how, Father. We want to thank you for allowing us to wake up this morning, be in our right mind, to do what we love, Father God, with the talents and the skills you have blessed yes, us. Yes, you. We promise, Father God, to, to not put them to, to, to well, they're not hitting on them, Father God. We're going to make it count. We're going to yes. make it count, Father yes. God. Our mind is a terrible thing to waste, and we want to make sure that we make you happy on a day-to-day -day basis, Father God. Father, we pray that we have a great session today. I'm grateful and humble, humble for the Heinz Community College to reach out to me to come before these young men. Yes. And Father God, I pray that you might be able to continue to move through me where I can continue to be a leader and for you. Them. In this prayer, we see by faith in your son of Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And, and, Amen. and bless Amen. all the students. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. First thing I want to touch base on is about being a good follower before you can be a good leader. That's one of the first things. Mm -hmm. Basically, what that means is a lot of times my, 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 my father, he did gone past by a year or so ago and he taught me a whole lot. But a lot of times, God gave us two years and one mile for a reason. Mm -hmm. That means you got to observe, pay attention more than you speak. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You have a lot of people that do a lot of talking. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you, don't want, you don't want to focus on that. You want to focus on action. See what I'm saying? So that's one of the main things in business that you have to understand is being a great follower before you can be a great leader. Basically means if, if, if you're looking to you know, do body work or whatever, there's nothing wrong with going and work for someone for a while to learn everything you possibly can. See what I'm saying? It's not, it's not, it's called a pit stop. It's just several times, several people in life usually go somewhere where they can get some kind of experience, get some on their death, go through something. Because in life, if you do not go through anything, you would not know anything. You see what I'm saying? Like the old school saying, so you gotta jump off the porch. You gotta go dive in that water. You gotta go get in that mud. And sometimes it's not pretty. And I'll be honest with you. None of my business is pretty. You see what I'm saying? So it's all about what's in your heart to be able to make happen. It's got to be in your heart. You got you to have your mind made up when you put your, your clothes on first thing in the morning and get ready to tackle your day. That's what it's all about. See what I'm saying? So, so basically, one of my main topics, first topics, is be a great follower before you be a great leader. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Next topic is... You got to be honest to yourself. One reason why I'm successful today is because I'm honest with myself. Okay? Which means if you're good at tech stuff, do tech stuff. You're good at dealing with cars, do car stuff. You see what I'm saying? You have some people that, that, that their blessings get put on hold because they're trying to be someone they're not. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Don't, don't try to be someone you're not. If you if you got a friend that you got to be around him to be someone you're not, he ain't your friend. You see what I'm saying? You just, just put him on on way. You know, birds of a feather flock together. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's true stuff. So the thing about knowing your strengths and your weaknesses, if you're going to be an entrepreneur, you can't lie to yourself. Mm -hmm. If you're weak on something, guess what? Go perfect it. Go deal on it. Make it a strength. You understand what I'm saying to you? So it, 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 it's all right to be weak up in this and you say, well, dang, man, I don't know how to do paperwork. I don't know how to do this. Okay, go learn about it. YouTube is the best thing going on for America now. It, it, you ain't going to have to, no certain stuff. You don't have to take no 24 month class for it. You know what I mean? Uh, if you can put yourself around, surround yourself around people. Is always trying to do something like it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Make sure that you write positive people that are looking to make a better outcome for themselves, for their builders, for their families, those type of people you want to hang around. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And so with that saying, once you able to be honest with yourself, beat off your weaknesses, turn them to strengths. When you do that and you know how to portray it well, you then become what I call unstoppable. See what I'm saying? 
But the first thing you have to do is be honest to yourself. That's the first thing. So it's, it's called meditation. You know, you go home and you, whether it's a behind a video game, behind a TV, sitting on the couch, or riding your car, whatever, you just think about your life, what you want to do, what you want to become. This is America. Ain't nothing too big. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nothing too big. And that's one of the reasons why they called me here today. I'm a multitasker. You see what I'm saying? I own a log business, I own a clothing line, I got a movie getting ready to drop. You name it. I have my own 18 books. The list goes on. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes they paint a picture that you can only just be a mechanic and that's it. You got to be a mechanic and that's it. That's a, that's a lie. You can be anything you need to be, want to be. If you want to be a builder, you go to school for carpentry, you go back for electrician, you go back for plumbing, and you look up, you build a whole house yourself. Sky's the limit. See what I'm saying? So it's all about what's in your heart. It ain't nothing more. And when you find yourself in a situation where you might you know, reach out to the friends, say, hey man, I'm thinking about doing this. They say, well, man, don't try that, man. You, know, you need to get real of that. But you need to get real of that. They, they, you don't even need that kind of energy around you. You see what I'm saying? You got to listen to yourself. And the thing about success sometimes, it might get lonely, but trust me, it's well deserved. You might get, you might come across a person that's like, just like y'all build off each other's strengths. You see what I'm saying? Because everybody, my wife asked me the other day, she said, baby, if you can read, if you can, you know, start back over, uh, you can kind of be able to enlighten the class, what did you mess up? That was one reason I messed up that. I could have been a lot further in life if I would not try to make people see my vision. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes what you might think, like you said, you want to be a tech. Sometimes you might tell a family member, you might tell your friend, man, be a tech, I don't need you to be a tech. Don't worry about him. That's, that's, that's what he want to think about how he feel. Let him go ahead and on. You portray your dream. You go after your dream. You see what I'm saying? And, and one thing I always say is it never changes. When you're doing the, the, the leg work, you want to call it, people might shoot past you by. Might say, hey, man, he ain't cool no more, man. We don't, he, he, he trying to get his stuff off the ground, man. He ain't going to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? But one thing in my life, this is amazing. Once I was, I'm going to go back a little bit. When I put it like this, once I was walking, nobody remember it no more. I'm driving. See what I'm saying? So when you when you when you putting your brand together, when you get your books, you get your books, people don't call and fool with you, they don't call, check on you, whatever. It's okay. It's okay. Table's gonna turn. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? The main thing is you want to develop a relationship with a good man in the book. Because I'm just as great as he makes as he makes me. You see what I'm saying? That's just all here too. He creator. You know, you know, I'm just afraid he make that he makes it. So the thing is, when you going through stuff in life, and you you know, you feel like, man, dang, I ain't getting the way I want to do fast enough, man. Uh, man, buddy over there, man, he 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 got it going on, man. It's like he, you know, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Your time is coming. It's called patience. You see what I'm saying? Your time is coming. The main thing what you have to worry about is being true to yourself, know your strength, your weaknesses, and being hungry. You see what I'm saying? This that's the main thing you have to worry about. So so that's one of the things when I came up, was coming up in business, trying to bring people along with me that didn't want to go with me, didn't understand the vision. Mine was always to the left, or they thought, hey man. You can't do nothing but uh, be a law. Don't do nothing else. We're going to work like that. <laughs> See what I'm saying? It's about how bad you want it now. You know, it ain't going to come in your lap. 
It's just all this food. They don't come to your lap. It's about how bad you want. Now, if you're hungry, you're going to go get it. If you're not, then what? It's just here with it. See what I'm saying? So, that's one of the things I want to touch on. Uh, so, we covered being a great follower before you become a great leader. Also, knowing your strengths and your weaknesses. Pretty much, faith without works is dead. Right. You might have with family members, friends, or whoever say, hey man, uh, I'm on do this, I'm gonna do that, or man, I'm on I'm gonna be a million that one day. But every time you see them, they sit at home playing a video game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh they used to call me Mr. Walker like a cop. I think one of the boys, Migos, or something had one of them songs walking like a top. Mm -hmm. And it kind of go back to where I started from about being saying that we don't just do the top. Ask to speak loud. So, you know, the good Lord is behind you when you got faith on doing something. Mm -hmm. But you got to put some work behind it. You know, you got to put some work behind it. I mean, I mean, it's just what it is. There ain't no other way. Ain't nobody gonna give you nothing. Mm -hmm. They don't give you nothing but a hard time. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so you gotta put the work behind it. God gonna he bless you with the abilities, but you just gotta level up. You see what I'm saying? That's all mm -hmm. it is to it. Put your mind to it. Take off. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And that's what it is. Uh. My fourth thing, now this is something I can't stand without a passion. It's called a contingency. You see what I mean? It's a disease. You understand me? Because some people get a certain point in their life and they contingent. You know what I mean? You you know, everybody each is on. Each is on, you know what I mean? So, you know, I don't, don't get me wrong. If a person happy with, with driving this and they happy with their life and I don't mean that's what it is. But if you don't know if you're gonna be an entrepreneur, you can't be content. You gotta be hungry. You see what I'm saying? You gotta be hungry all the time. You gotta be ready to continue to innovate. You see what I'm saying? If you don't pull a car, sell a car, you gotta be ready to figure out, okay, I got a hundred customers. How can I get two hundred customers? You get there, you gotta keep on going. You see what I'm saying? You, you look at McDonald's, I think they worth four point something billion dollars. They steady pushing commercials. I think they got a uh, scene the other day, they got a uh, Cardi B and Offset. They got them something showing like they got new. They steady, they steady trying to build. They steady trying to build. Because the one thing about business is if you do it right, the right way, you would then, if you later on have children, kids, family, of course. The business can always go on. That's the whole point of business. That's the whole point. That's just all. That's all you do. You know I mean, look at this college. Times have been college. Somebody had to start. They 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 built their own. They, uh, I don't know what this college. Hundred some years old down this way. So of course, the man, that started. He, I thought I put this phone on the side. I'm sorry about that. Like I said, we did it in. But um. Basically, I'm saying that faith without works is dead. Mm -hmm. So you want you can have all the faith in the world, but if you don't put no work behind it, God ain't gonna see it through. That is all it is to it. He ain't gonna see it through. Let's see here. All right. Uh, the fifth, the fifth thing is you must have a vision of your own, mm -hmm. of your own. Understand what I say, of your own. Not of your parents, not of your brother, not of your sister, not of your girlfriend. You must have one of your own. Mm -hmm. That means something that truly is within your spirit, within your soul, that you want to do by all means necessary. You see what I'm saying? And long as you have a vision of your own, you know where you're trying to go, you know what you got to do. You know what steps you gotta take, what precautions need to be taken, to take. So that's one of the things about that. You gotta have vision. You 
can't go nowhere without vision. You know what I mean? That's just mm -hmm. all it is to you. You got to have out If you don't have an idea, just like me, I never had an idea how my life would turn out. Mm -hmm. I knew what I wanted to do. I knew what I wanted to become. You see what I'm saying? But it's up to God to put everything, you know, in place. Mm -hmm. But you got to have vision to start out with it. Mm -hmm. the, So that's just what it is. So 
it's okay. You know, you have to make sacrifices. You know, mm -hmm. that's just all it is to it. You know, it's just all it is to it. Uh, well, we rolling pretty good here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get to the good part now. I know everything sounds like it's a bit more tough than, than good, but we'll get to the good part. All right, so that's how big it is. You see what I'm saying? It starts off tough before it gets good. Mm -hmm. uh, consistency. You got to be home. Back to where I was talking about asking to speak loud and words. You got to pump out the cars. You got to pump out that, that tech work. You got to be up in a different place every day you look up. You got to be home. You see what I'm saying? You got to be, be, be constant. You know, it's just a constant pressure. See what I'm saying? And that's the only way you're going to be one of the best, one of the greats. That's all there is to it. Steph Curry, that's one of my favorite basketball players. You think he shot one shot and went on inside the house and chill? No, he was steady shooting. He steady shooting. He steady shooting. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The body get a little tired, steady shooting. That's how life is. That's how business is. If you're going to be anything and, and have your own business, you got to be hungry. You got to be hungry, bro. That's just all there is to it. You see what I'm saying? Joker try to stop you. Tell you, man, you can't do it. Shoot, step on over here. Keep on going. Mm -hmm. They put a they put a brick wall in your way. Get down up in the position, the top position. Bust through that brick wall. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody hold you back. Because the good Lord, if it's in your heart, and he said he promised it to you, can't no man stop you. You see what I'm saying? Can't nobody stop you. Can nobody stop you from doing what you want to do in life but yourself. See what I'm saying? That's just all we do. And those first seven topics, if you all portray all those well, then the eighth topic, which actually is the last topic, hard work pays off. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Hard work pays off. Where it's Money doesn't matter. List goes on. You can do whatever you need to do. Where it's going on vacation, you say, man, I want to go to Hawaii or Las Vegas, the list goes on. Yeah. But you got to portray those first seven steps. It ain't going to happen. It's overnight. You got to put the work in, the rest going to pay off. Mm -hmm. You know, this is this, this exactly what I did. I mean, it is what it is. It's not the most prettiest thing, but it's where it's hurt. And so, for me, for instance, I'm going to let y'all get a chance to ask some questions. Like I said, we, we, I, I have my own lawn business. I have two lawn crews, uh, about six trucks, uh, contract guys. Uh, 12, 13 people sold on payroll, maybe more. I lose count. Uh, but they, people want me to stop there. Say, okay, he just get lost. He's going to win at the beginning. Like I said, I'm hungry. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I, I got busy. So I went from there, started a clothing brand. Uh, and we have some shirts for y'all here today. Started a clothing brand. I wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't content with that. I wanted to go a little bit more further. And I'm from a little town called Elvis. I ain't far from y'all at all. At all. Uh, I went from there, we did our own movies. Now, how many people you know around this area does their own movies? Pretty much nothing. See what I'm saying? OK, even with doing our own movie, I wrote the movie. See what I'm saying? The list goes on. I'm, I'm what you call multitasking. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? You look at it. Ain't nobody, ain't no, nobody tell you hear it from the horse's mouth. See what I'm saying? I wrote the movie, wrote everything in the movie, it helped direct it. Uh, I had another one of my buddies done the film. But basically, with that on every scene, also, this was just a book here I have that y'all can go follow me on all the social sites and everything. And uh, check us out. 
But um, the list goes on, man, and, and it's still right. You know, wherever I feel in my heart to do, I'm going after it. It don't matter where it is. If I wake up tomorrow and say, T.O., I want to be a pilot, get with me. Y'all yeah. see me around here trying to learn. Oh, that T.O. man is long. He trying to be a pilot. Then what it is. It's in my heart to do, I'm going for it. That's just how it is, too. So, basically, all those simple steps, you put them together, at the end, more work pays off. Mm -hmm. it, just, it, it works in that order, basically. Yeah. Hard work pays off, whether you want to go out of town, you know, you name it. Go get you a brand new, uh, uh, you like you might be a Dodge, man, I don't know. I'm a fool with name myself. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't matter, man. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to go buy one of the brand new F-250s or something, man, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, that's just all there to it. You know, God going to put it in your way to be making make it happen. Mm -hmm. That's just what it is. So now, like I said, we'll be summing up, man. Uh, Y'all ask me anything. You love to ask me, man. I'm an open book, man. You know, it, it, ask me something now. Y'all talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what do you, how, how do you think the relationship That's a good question. All right. People watching, this man asks a magnificent question. Okay. He asks, how do you feel relationships play a role in your success? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Very good question. One of the things about that is you want to have a partner that understands and believes in you. That's the Biggest thing. That's the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, I came up old school. So a lot of times, my pops will use reverse psychology. He said, well, you ain't gonna do that. Said, well, you know, but it was old school. It was, it was same thing as love, but what I had to do was tough love. They old school, they ain't know no other way. You see what I'm saying? And so, what I had to do is that I had to go hard regardless. And sometimes in relationships, sometimes people, if they don't see your vision, it's not their fault. You see what I'm saying? God called you, he ain't called, he ain't called the other person. You see what I'm saying? He ain't called everybody, he called you. So sometimes when you see that vision, the other person, they don't have a clue. It's not their fault, it's just they don't have a clue. But the thing about it is, especially as it's being men, he designed us to be strong vessels. Mm -hmm. So you have to stay straight path on what you're trying to do. The only thing you can do is pray that your mate understand what you're saying, where you're saying in your career and what you're trying to do. You see what I'm saying? Eventually, nine times out of ten, if they really care about you, they really love you, They'll come on, on bandwagon. They'll get on board. You see what I'm saying? But a lot of times, when you have vision, man, vision is one of the powerful things. Man, you got to think about it, man. You think about these bridges up in uh, uh, West California, Golden State, up there. You think somebody had to build it. Somebody had to have that vision to build it. You understand know what I'm saying? So vision is powerful. Vision is so powerful that a lot of times you'll see a person going that way, you try, man, what are you doing? The mind haven't even put you on what you see. Mm -hmm. But that's the, that's the power of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, it's unbelievable. So, but for as, okay, she got a question. So what you're saying is communication between you and your mate. You, and what you're saying that a man, five percent and nine and nine percent is communication. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, yeah, you gotta be able to communicate. But you gotta try to see where you're going in life. You gotta understand, because uh, when you're coming from the bottom, it's so easy for people to have doubts. It's so easy to say, oh, I don't think it's gonna work. Mm -hmm. 
But man, when I tell you that the power of vision mm -hmm. is something, man, uh, this beautiful young lady that she been with me, ooh, a long time. I don't want to count years. I might mess up the years. You know how it's been. I don't want to get married and stuff. <laughs> but she been with me before I always consider myself someone. I always been T.O. Uh, and T.O. stands for takeover. A lot of people don't understand. They don't know what it stands for takeover. But at the end of the day, you want to try to paint a picture, which is sometimes hard to do. You want to try to paint a picture for your spouse as much as you possibly can and leave the rest to God. You know, that's, that's the main thing. This is all you to I got a question. Uh -huh. uh, how do you be a relationship with people in business? How do you be a relationship with people in business? Mm -hmm. What do you mean you be in a relationship like with a uh, spouse? Okay, person? say for example, you're a lawyer, right? Mm -hmm. How do you be a relationship with foresters? And oh, okay, okay. That's a good question. Well, and that's something I didn't put in the topics. Always do what you say you're going to do. That's right. I always do what you say you're going to do. Uh, I have, man, a contact list is off the chain. Uh, I mean, I know well over a thousand, two thousand calls, you know, uh, contacts and all that. Uh, and all of them get something done. See what I'm saying? Uh, and, 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 and let me say this. A lot of times you might have friends every time you look up, they always look for you to do something for them, but you can't, they can't never do nothing for you. Mm -hmm. that's, not no, that's not a friend. That's not a friend. It, it ain't all about money. You understand what I'm saying? It ain't all about money. Mm -hmm. when, when, when we the most creative when we don't have money. You see what I'm saying? Because guess what? Uh, uh, if your buddy here yeah, hit more now, you got more, you come over there, man, we'll cut your grass for you. You know what I'm saying? Your car down he can come over there, pick you up. It, you see what I'm saying? It's this. You want to align yourself with people that want some out of life and look and get stuff done. And it's gonna make stuff happen. Mm -hmm. And for me, for the very relationship with, with people, it's about doing what I say to do. Now, I'm not perfect. I'm mm -hmm. a work of progress, you know what I'm saying? So, if it's by chance I fall short, you know what I mean? I don't have no problem. I'm man enough to, to, to apologize and say, hey, man, I wasn't able to make it happen. Hopefully, we can make it happen on the next, on the next though. That's just how it is, too. Be honest with a person. That's right. Honesty ain't gonna take you a long way. Personal respect, huh? Yeah. Now, one thing about being is you don't want to be no liar, you don't want to be no thief. That's right. You set yourself to be stepping on out the door then. Mm -hmm. be straight up with people. I'd rather be, I have a lot of land on this. A lot of times they call and say, hey, Tio, I want you to come look at this camera. I ain't gonna say, hey, man, you got the best camera on earth. And then you go out there, you can you can take the limbs and, and whoop somebody with a switch or something. <laughs> so it ain't mature yet. I never know who I say, hey man, this Tim ain't ready, but give it 15, 20 years, it'll be ready. They just stuff it there. It might hurt me feeling right then, but God's gonna bless you for being honest. Mm -hmm. How, how did you uh, start your business? Like, you know, Lawman was the first thing yeah. you had? Yeah, Lawman. Did you invest in that, or were you like, well, yeah. doing something else and then invested in that? Well, when I graduated, my father was a law. Okay. Uh, and once I graduated from high school, I, I was right across the road to the Hines HS. I didn't know where I wanted. I didn't know what I wanted. I know I wanted my own business, man. And I worked in the summer for my dad ever since I was 12 years old. I bought my own school clothes. Uh, you were younger than that when you first started. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, mean, I was out there when I was getting high. I was out there when I was getting high. Mm -hmm. I was out there. And his brother was driving at six. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they went out. And he would take them out and he would protect them. Mm -hmm. And they grew up. And, and he's a, 
another generation is daddy and, and him it, it goes on yeah so this he started yeah. rear yeah yeah i got i got a little son too now that uh you take he get on the machine and uh, i said hey son he get on the, on the up boom and i said hey son let me show you he said dad I, I can load too i said you ain't you ain't about to five years old man how you gonna load how can you do it then but uh <laughs> he's eight now but but pretty much what I did, I graduated from high school. I, uh, I know I wanted to get away. I wanted to get away and, and try to get an idea of what I wanted to do. I, was, I went to Atlanta, which we have, I have a sister. Sister, uh, my mom, I have a daughter, the only one. Only. And she, she, she's real intelligent. She's a uh, director of human resources. So I went up there and uh, I told her, I said, sis, I want to try to I want to try to make some of myself. I ain't know what I want to do, but I know I can do it. And I want to be my own business man. So I stayed up there for about the first three months or so, and I got, I kind of said, well, I'm going to be an electrician. I was always good with cooking the radios, the whole nine yards. So I said, I want to be a father before I be a leader. Mm -hmm. So I said, I'm going to go and try to learn electrician. And, uh, but during that time, about, I think, of course, about 18 month trade. And probably 18 months, two years, I can't remember. And during that time, my dad got sick. My dad got sick with kidney failure. And uh, my dad was my great admirer. I mean, he was, he taught me, uh, man, tons of stuff. I mean, tons of stuff. So he, he, I did, God bless me to have a father figure that, you know, the hardworking man, I seen him day to day. To day. He handled his business. You know, I, I fortunate. Mm -hmm. uh, so my mom too. My mom, I take my hat off to her because, well, 35 years, we worked in one job. 31 plus. 31 plus. Yeah, no, that yeah. takes discipline. That takes discipline. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say, well, I'm going to sit here and say, I can't <laughs> work for nobody for 31, 30 years. I ain't, ain't going to be disciplined enough. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I like I like being by my own music. It's just how I am. You see what I'm saying? That's why I'm an entrepreneur. I'm, I'm the boss. Mm -hmm. And so uh uh but with that said, I got back when my dad got sick, I got back and uh I started working a little I worked at the Walmart job uh on the weekend with them long through the week two. And uh, and uh, I come down. Well, I went to Heinz and Ryan. I went. I took up accounting, and I kept trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And eventually, God spoke to me and he said, "Look where you, you're gonna be alone." So I sat down with my dad and my brother, and I told him, "I said, hey, look, I'm gonna be alone. I got my mind made up. I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it differently." So. At the time, my dad was pretty much facing going toward retirement, so the equipment we had then, it wasn't hitting on nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was something to start with, you know, get some started. And so he told me where he wanted for it. Nobody never gave me nothing. See what I'm saying? He told me where he wanted for it. He, he said, well, I know y'all ain't got that kind of money, so what I'm going to do, y'all pay me weekly until the money pay off. And when we got in it, we got started, I put my all in. I put my heart in. I, I tears, sweat. I was willing to die to it. That's just how bad I want. And that's how you have to be about. And like I said, the end, hard work pays off. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just all it is to it. The hard work pays off. You look at me today, you, you never know I went through all those cars. But that's just the power of you. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just all it is to it. Mm -hmm. I got one last question. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you said um, you had equi equipment to start off with. So what if you don't have your own money to start your business with, then how well, would you go about doing that? If you don't have your own money to start your business with, this is a good question. That's a great question. Mm -hmm. One thing I remember when my dad had me working, and... He would tell me, he said, son, and, and, and now that he's gone, a lot of stuff, he always said, reflect, I reflect mm -hmm. that. 
but it takes back to me. And basically, it's not what you make, it's what you do with what you make. You see what I'm saying? So that means when you make some money, don't waste it. Don't go buy the new joints. Don't go buy this. Don't go buy, you know what I'm saying? Don't fall yet. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a time you can fall. Mm-hmm. But now it's time. It's time for everything. But you got to prioritize. Put everything together. It might take a little while. But as you keep on going, like I said, get one thing, work with that. It's the second thing is to build up from, from the ground up. Basically, what we did, build up from the ground up. And I just got a comment. I remember when me and your daddy, we started off with one truck. Mm-hmm. They call them pug wheel truck at the, at the time. Mm-hmm. And I, there was, I don't know what this thing was that you grab up the wood and- Yeah, it was it was, uh, it was called uh, Big Stick. It, it was called like Big Stick. Yeah, and so this generation of logging, it, oh, it, 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 you, it, it, it's Excel. Oh, it's, it, man, it, look, you, you pretty much hands free. Well, very nice. I remember the big stick I used to, I used to, when I got out of school, uh, I get off the bus, my Uncle Elmer would, would pick me and Sammy up, and we go out there and help him load the pork wood truck. Mm-hmm. I was too little to climb the wood and run the chainsaw, so I, I used that lever. And when he tell me, he said, T.O., hit that lever. When I hit the lever, he got to guide the wood up on the truck. But technology has moved so far from that. All the equipment we have, we just press buttons. Because you so, purge stuff, it's loaded and everything. Mm-hmm. So you purged out what you what your you daddy had. What my dad did and, and, and made it the new generation. And, and it just, everything's mm-hmm. so different. You got it's uh, quicker, it's a lot quicker, it's a lot safer. It is, and you got a, mm-hmm. you got safe. You got now you can do it in style, air conditioning machine. Right. And and well, that that was that was what a lady told <laughs> told me and Sam said. Said y'all can't be laws. Said y'all too handsome to be laws. <laughs> I said, what we supposed to look like? He said, well, y'all just too handsome to be laws. I said, well, again, yeah, we the new school law. <laughs> <laughs> y'all are. And y'all, it's, it's, it's fascinating to watch. You got a loader that it picks up stuff. You got a tree cutter just hug the tree and the tree is gone. Uh, right. It's just so fascinating. Mm-hmm. You need, you might need to tell me about you. I know it's about time. Yeah, tell me. Time. Yeah, time. Well, uh, when did we talk One to more. you? Any more questions? So, it seems like you was kind of outgoing to see this tree. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like, I got there from my dad. He and John. Uh, <laughs> My wife, uh, she shot. Me. I'm, 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 I'm out going. I'm, I was when even when I was in school, man. Everybody they call me a preacher in school. Uh, my dad, my dad, and I, I'm actually, a, I'm a, I'm a pastor, a minister, child, a mom the evangelist. So I was raised to God ain't do me yet. Uh-uh. You know, I ain't sitting up here saying I'm no pastor. But uh, I was raised up the right way. And uh, I think my dad, I know when, when I was in high school, my dad said, he seen one of the girls there and said, you T.O. daddy? And my dad said, he said, T.O.? yeah, T.O. He said, Tony Richardson. Oh, y'all call him T.O.? yeah, T.O. 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 He said, yeah, my dad. He said, well, he be preaching at school. He be preaching. But it's just one thing. I... Look, as I got older, I wasn't no class clown. When I was young, I might have been elementary. I might have been trying to do a little jokes, you know, back then. But, uh, but yeah, I always been outspoken. And uh, and when you're in business, that's one of the things you want to do. You want to speak up for yourself. You got to speak up for yourself. I mean, you ain't got to be as outspoken as I am, but you know, you know, if you feel something ain't right, you put the guy aside, whoever the head man is, whoever the guy can't say, man. Look here, man. You know, last I checked, you told me to get that done. It just leave it that. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more of an outspoken type of guy. I always been like that uh, ever since I was young, you know. So it's just something that, uh, if the next person pray to see it, I'm going to see it. You know, it's just not going to be a thing. Y'all got another question? Y'all live in the city still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm right in the building. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm right in the building. Right before this class started, I called my foreman 
and uh, and told him, you know, what was going on. So I got guys now, you know, uh, working while I'm here, being able to do this, you know. And nevertheless, I'm not one of those bosses that sit in air condition and, 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 and while the other guys work, I get down with them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if I want to be here with you all, I be right there with them. And so that's that thing. The thing about it is, your guys respect you once you put in the ground too. It's okay, you gotta deal with the business up. Which I put in, that's my wife, she can tell you, I'm putting on this dollar. You know, and I'm still bound to put in more than the hour. You know what I mean? But I put in unlimited hours to be able to do stuff like we're doing now. And that's just how it is too, you know what I mean? So, uh, but nevertheless, it's just like riding a bike. So if I ever had to go back to it, and ever had to go and do it myself, I can do it. You see what I'm saying? But of course, it's always a, a mission to get your business started. You can have one location over here. You next thing you know, you got another location over there. You got to make it. You see what I'm saying? It's America. Same thing with you. You know what I'm saying? If you do tech stuff, man, it's some money in that stuff. I'm telling you, man, the computers right now, that, that will run the world. I mean, that's just all there to it, man. You talking about some big, big, big money. I got a friend that's a computer engineer. He works for the uh, for the Air Force, mm -hmm. Air Force, mm -hmm. and he, I don't, I don't know what he makes, but I know he makes a good living. You know, so, so, but if that's what you're passionate about, man, I say go forward, man. Uh, go forward and, and make and make it happen, man. But again, that's just all there to it. But uh, nevertheless, uh, I know my time is ran out. Mm -hmm. uh, I got some shirts for y'all. Uh, let's see, got a book for y'all, whatever. And uh, I want to give y'all, and, and then I give y'all the, the YouTube channel. We we run it live on the channel. We got anybody to come check us out today? How many people on the live? Six. Uh, somebody working today. Somebody at the door. Somebody at the door. Yeah, see what see what. See. Hey, how you doing? Come on in. Yeah, I'll come on in.